Gifted Aetherborn coming down. That's not really going to do it. They have to kill the novice, Chandra Novice Pyromancer this turn. They can't let it survive. <gasps> Greetings, everyone. I am glad to be here, and I am glad that you are here. Uh, today's jank is in Historic, and we are playing Chandra Tribal. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I couldn't be happier. I love these Chandra cards. I'm not a huge fan of mono red as far as red deck wins is concerned. Lots of really aggressive creatures and just burn spells or whatever. But man, oh man, do I love some big red. Uh, where we get to play some really big, powerful like dragons or Chandra Planeswalker style things. Uh, and boy, oh boy, the top end on some of these Chandras is really, really crazy. Um, so let's let's have a look at the deck, shall we? Our Chandra package is robust. Beginning at three, we have Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Zero, put a loyalty counter on each red planeswalker you control. So technically, this is a plus one because she is a red planeswalker. Um, but it also puts one on each other red planeswalker as well as herself, right? Uh, very, very strong. Also, notably makes two elementals. They gain haste. You exile them at the beginning of the next end step. They're just one ones. But if you pair her with the four drop Chandra in Chandra Novice Pyromancer, you can plus one. Elemental creatures you control get plus two plus oh. So you can make two one ones that gain haste, then give them plus two plus oh. And they're attacking as three one haste. Pretty powerful. Uh, Alternatively, in the uh, in addition to those, there are more four drop planeswalkers we're playing. In this case, it's Chandra Pyromaster. Chandra Pyromaster deals one damage to target player or planeswalker, and one damage or to up to one target creature that player or or that planeswalker or player controls. Yeah, whatever. A creature or planeswalker, or a player or a planeswalker, and a creature. Right. So kind of confusing wording, but there you go. And that creature can't block this turn. Interesting. We don't have a lot of creatures, but definitely interesting text for other applications for sure. And we do have uh, we do have our Chandra's Incinerators and Bone Crusher Giants, so that can be relevant. Also, though, you can zero exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn, including lands and stuff. Right. Um, then uh, Chandra Torso of Defiance. Many of you will be familiar with. Exile the top card of your library. You may cast it. If you don't, Chandra Torch of Defiance deals two damage to each opponent. That's a plus one. But wait, there's more. Also plus one, add two red mana. Now it's gotta be spent right now, right? You're not going through your deck and finding two uh, mountains, but just the two red mana temporarily, very, very powerful. You can also minus three deal four damage to target creature. And of course, so anytime you have a potential ramp in Chandra or a removal spell. That's powerful, but it's also potential card advantage. She is so broken. And then, of course, she does emblem relatively quickly with coming down on four, plusing to five, ultimates at seven. Whenever you cast a spell, this emblem deals five damage to any target. That will end the game very, very quickly. And again, not, I wouldn't say it's the fastest ultimate we've ever seen, but it is notable. If Chandra Torch Defiance goes unchecked, she will kill the opponent, and it won't take long. So, uh, worth noting, for sure. Chandra Heart of Fire, uh, dealing some damage mainly, though in the extreme late game, if she's out on a board and we don't have anything going on in our hand, we can just discard the whole hand, get some more stuff. Um, then I noted the uh, Chandra's Incinerator 6-6 six, six tramples that get cheaper when non-combat damage is dealt, uh, and when non-combat damage is dealt to an opponent, this creature deals that much damage to a creature or planeswalker that player controls. So we have lots and lots of non-combat damage when we talk about, uh, you know, our planeswalkers dealing damage, right? Uh, and then we also have Chandra of Flames Fury. This you likely might not be familiar with. It is a planeswalker deck Chandra, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, comes down as a four, so not a ton of loyalty for a six drop planeswalker, but plus one, two damage to any target, similar to the plus one here on Chandra Heart of Fire. That said, the minus two is even better removal. Deal four damage to target creature and two damage to that creature's controller. So it's, you know, Chandra's Fury or whatever, right? The card. Uh, and then 
The minus eight, also very relevant, deals 10 damage target player and each creature that player controls. So if Chandra Flames Fury is left unchecked as well, she will do very good things. Uh, notably though, we wanted another really powerful big Chandra and we didn't want too many Chandra Awaken Inferno. It's possible we just want a third Chandra Awaken Inferno. This card is broken. I love it in every way, shape, manner, and form, but I also didn't want to shun Flames Fury. Uh, so let me know how you feel down in the comments below. But Chandra Fl Awaken Inferno, the uh, penultimate Planeswalker in our uh, arsenal. This spell can't be countered. Very powerful. Plus two. Each opponent gets an emblem with, at the beginning of your upkeep, this emblem deals one damage to you. That's a plus two. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing gets loyalty counters out of control. And that damage keeps happening every turn. Every time you give them an emblem, it gives them another emblem gives them another emblem they'll be taking one damage a turn then two damage a turn then three damage a turn then four damage a turn folks it gets out of control also a mass removal spell Chandra Waken Inferno deals three damage to each non-elemental creature when you minus three and then the minus x is deal x damage target creature or planeswalker if it would die it gets exiled instead but make no mistake her plus two is the ultimate on this thing Holy cow. It just ends the game in a hurry, folks, in a hurry. And all of these Planeswalkers are supplemented by Fiery Emancipation. If a source you control would deal damage to a permanent player, it deals triple that damage instead. That's right. When I'm doing plus two, or two damage to the opponent, or two damage to the opponent, or two damage to the opponent, it's six damage, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's a lot. But on top of that, our Planeswalker is also supplemented by Chandra's Regulator. Uh, whenever you activate the loyalty of, uh, of a Sh Chandra Planeswalker, you may pay one. If you do, copy that ability. You may choose new targets. Very, very powerful indeed. Doubling up on all of them. You don't get double the loyalty counters, but you do get double uh, activations of those abilities. Very, very powerful indeed. That said... What's going on in the rest of the deck? Honestly, not much. It's damage-based removal spells. That's it. So let's take it out for a spin, shall we? All right, folks. Here we are up against Laser. Good luck, Laser. And yeah, I mean, I think this hand is just about as good as we could hope for. Um, being on the play, we have some two-drop interaction. And either a three drop threat or a three drop bit of more interaction, you know? Uh, you know, actually, I think we're gonna not leave up our two drop interaction then, since they didn't play a two or uh, one drop. All right. Well, I'm worried our opponent might end up playing a Phyrexian Obliterator. <laughs> If our opponent plays a Phyrexian Obliterator, I think we just die. <laughs> okay, Phyrexian Arena. That is not Phyrexian Obliterator. Thank heavens. All right, well, let's go ahead and go Chandra Torch of Defiance. Go up. Lose our other Fire Emancipation, which is not great. Uh, these are very, very good cards, and our opponent at any point could have a way of ripping this out of our hand, a Thoughtseize or Duress or something, you know? Ay, ay, ay. Did not hit the land drop. We really wanted that land. Well, let's get down to Bone Crusher Giant past the turn. Opponent going to lose another life down to 14. We're going to pray that trend continues, just losing lots and lots of life. All right. Our opponent does not miss a land drop, of course, with Phyrexian Arena. Kind of difficult to do. But they do Blood Chief's Thirst, our Bone Crusher Giant, to drop themselves 12. Well, shoot, folks. We're just going to keep missing land drops here. No big deal. And by no big deal, I mean, holy crud, that's a huge deal. Keep in mind, we also did exile the top card of our library, uh, which was Fireman's Patient. Remember? Uh... Yeah. Not great. Oh, thank heavens. Okay. Good deal. Well, Chandra Heart of Fire. 
Just gonna go upstairs. Yep. Opponent going to lose another life down to 12. Unfortunately, though, they're on six cards in hand. Seven lands on the battlefield. That is it. No! Duress, folks. This is exactly what we were worried about. We really wanted that. And we only have two in the list, you know? Shoot. That is unfortunate. All right. So, yeah, the opponent just continues removing everything. Feels bad. All right. And a brand new one enters the battlefield. Sure. Well. Then let's just anger the gods. Scorching dragon fire. Pass the turn, I guess. Opponent drops to nine. Murderous rider entering the battlefield. Unfortunate, but understandable. Okay, well, shot or power master. Come on down. We are going to zero because we need a land, darn it. Holy crud, folks. Our opponent just has all of them. Every murderous rider in the deck. And unfortunately, these all have lifelink, you know? Um, no. Yuck. All right, Murderous Rider, number two, or number three, or number seven. I don't even know. There's a lot of Murderous Riders over there, folks. Feels bad. Coming on down. Oh, now we're going to get all our lands. Fantastic. Oh, my word. All right, well. This did not go as planned, folks. This did not go as planned at all. Admittedly, our opponent's on five, so the game is not lost. As long as we can get rid of these murderous riders, there is a path to victory, potentially. All right. Anger the gods. Okay, well, that actually does work as well. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead, go down, hit our opponent's face down to seven. He will drop to six. They will drop to six. Please forgive me. Um, opponent, looking at that hand. It's a Nighthawk Scavenger coming on down. That is annoying. Witch's Cottage. Getting a gifted Aether board and back to the top of the library. What do we pull off the top? Radiant Fountain, not a great draw. Well. Yeah, I guess. Feels bad, but it is what it is. Two damage. We will gain our life, I guess. Opponent drops the three. Gifted Aetherborn coming down. That's not really going to do it. They have to kill the novice Sh Chandra Novice Pyromancer this turn. They can't let it survive. Oh, folks, I thought, sure, with all that lifelink, they were going to be able to uh, come back. In fact, they did not. And darn it, folks, we were able to bring that one home. Holy cow. I suppose that's why you play the games, right? That was looking nasty. I wonder what was in our opponent's hand. They've got six cards in hand, and they were just recycling the same old threats, you know, bringing back the Gifted Aetherborn more than once, and or casting it and then bringing it back, and then casting these Murderous Riders and things. I don't know. Very strange. Uh, but darn it, we're not going to complain. Feels good, man. Feels good. All right, GG. All right, folks, here we are. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang on to this. Oh boy. Our opponent has a spear spewer. 
fine. Not excited about it, but it is what it is. We don't have any early game interaction here. So if our opponent goes absolutely ham, we're in more than a little trouble. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not great. We really need our opponent to not get all of the counters on this runaway steamkin in this turn. Um, as long as it's just a three power or a three toughness creature, then everything's fine, right? But if they have one drop, one drop, one drops, runaway steamkin becomes a four four, and that is bad news bears. All right, well, anger the gods. All right, so they don't cast any instants. I guess they have burn, but not, you know, three one drops worth of burn. Uh, that's my guess anyway. Maybe it's just a bone crusher giant, I guess. Could be. Carnage. Oh, boy. Well, all right. Hey, that's a good one. We're going to advance the board with Chandra Torch of Defiance, go up to five loyalty, and get a Chandra's Regulator onto the battlefield. Feels good, man. Feels good indeed. Oh my word. Yeah, let's add a whole bunch of mana, get down a fiery Emancipation. That's a strong magic card, and we are going to wait. Yeah, we may loot. We'll see. Both of these cards are quite good, particularly with fiery Emancipation down, but we're not married to either of them. Risk factor. We'll take the damage. Down to 12. That's not great. But, you know. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go for the win instead of the 6-6. Six, six, because normally winning the game is better than just getting a 6-6. Six, six. We can't copy this since we copied Chandra Awaken Inferno's ability. But each of these 1-1s one -ones does do 3 damage. So this is lethal if they don't interact. I assume they're going to interact. Holy crud. Yeah. As expected. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to take the damage again. Because we've got lethal a whole mess of different ways next turn. And these two cards have to be worth four damage to our face each, right? With only uh, five mana available. That doesn't seem very likely. And in fact, our opponent agrees. Good game, opponent. Good game. Uh, that was fun. Uh, for sure. I'm not quite sure what they were up to over there. Clearly, some kind of value burn deck with Carnival Carnage or Carnival Carnage is shocks. Uh, the Spear Spewer with Risk Factor and Runaway Steamkin. Like they're trying to cast a lot of spells. Clearly, in a burn variety, I'm just not quite sure what was going on there, but it was fun. So GG opponent, GG. Here we are. We're up against Tanfi. Good luck, Tanfi. And yeah, I think we're going to keep this. Not very much, not very many ways of interacting in the early game, no question, but we have lands, we have spells, you know, some of which is interaction, some of which is powerful uh, cards we're attempting to cast here, so. I definitely think it's worth keeping. Pile Collector 
Int Barkide Troll. All right. Sure. Well, I think we're going to just anger the gods this turn. I don't think we're going to be greedy. Definitely don't want to take too many damages. And yeah, I was going to say, if our opponent has something like Steel Leaf Champion or something like that, then darn it. That, things can get out of hand in a hurry. So, all right, well. I believe it or not, folks, we're going to bolt ourselves. Because if we don't take three this turn, we're going to take five instead. And I'm not very good at math, but darn it, I think I would rather just take the three. Uh, always a scary proposition to bolt yourself against a more aggressive deck like this, but you also have to do what you have to do, you know? Hey, those are good. Yeah, let's just add some mana, get down a Chandra's Regulator, and pass. Power Collector. And... Stone Coil Serpent. Well, I'm not thrilled about this, but uh, our opponent is out of cards. So now the Ronas can't attack. So let's go like this, I guess. And then two damage to any target. Copy it, and pray they don't get a uh, four-power creature off the top. I am not going to make a bunch of bets about whether or not that's a thing. You know, they've got a million four-power creatures in the deck, right? But the most likely draw on their deck is still very much a land. And then after that, uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Oh. oh, that's a good one. So let's start here. Uh, all right. Okay. I think all of these things are fine. We're not leaving up our Scorching Dragon Fire, but again, we're worried about four power creatures, which four power creatures most often come with four toughness attached as well. We're not out of the woodwork here, folks. If our opponent just top decks a Questing Beast specifically, but really any big thing, they can start attacking with Ronas and really make life difficult. But yeah, if they can't, we're good, right? Now, Questing Beast would have been disastrous itself, but we got there, folks. We got there. Good game, opponent. Good game. As you can see, lots of interaction backed up with the Planeswalkers doing uh, loyalty things. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful indeed. That said, GG opponent. Oh my word. I am so excited about this deck. It performed really well. Uh, admittedly, we did lose two, so we won three, lost two. Um, in the one, we drew pretty poorly. In the other, we were fa we faced off against another big red deck. It was so exciting, but they got their Chandra Awakened Inf Inferno first. So then those emblems ticked out of control, just like we said they would. And darn it, yeah, it was a glorious, glorious time. I am not even upset at all to have lost there. It was fun. Um... That said, the deck did really well. I do think the Chandra Flames Fury is just better as another Chandra Awaken Inferno, darn it. I really like this card for being a Planeswalker card. It's one of those cards that a, a lot of newer players might even get their hands on. So I like to try and utilize that for if it's in your collection thing. I think it's probably just better as another Chandra Awaken Inferno. Um, so... 
let me know how you feel about that. And I'm making the change right now so that when I play it on stream tonight, I don't forget and leave it out. But let me know how you feel about it. And just, you know, let me know down below. This is a very powerful deck, no question. But I could see where some possible tweaks and improvements might be made. So if you feel like this deck could be improved by maybe a little more control, let me know down below. Or maybe uh, maybe we need a few more Planeswalkers. That's what we need. Because admittedly, we don't have all four Chandra Torch of Defiance. Getting another one just adds another control spell as well as a crazy powerful threat. We're also not running all of our Chandra Awakened Infernos. Maybe they're better than the Chandra's Incinerators. Almost certainly. Either way, let me know and then we'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. It's no big deal. Uh... I'd also just like to say, I really appreciate everybody who tuned in. Uh, it's always great of you good folks to watch the videos. And if you've made it this far, holy crud, you know, you're the best. I really appreciate it. Uh, but come on over to the Twitch. Come on over to the Twitch. I'd love to get to know you. Uh, Twitch.tv slash John Likes Games. Link in the description down below. It would be great to have you. And darn it, uh, I would look forward to being able to meet you. So you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you all next time.